The multidisciplined and visionary academic, university lecturer and technological artist Professor Marcello Pecchioli, who sadly died on 2 February 2021, has left behind an extraordinary library and archive in his home in Bologna, Italy, which has been painstakingly inventoried by myself and Francesco Gonzalez on behalf of the Sir Dennis Mahon Foundation under the guidance and kind collaboration of lawyer Luigi Pecchioli. Professor Pecchioli was an artist and intellectual and a founding figure in the field of technology imagery, ranging from science, cinema, photography, audiovisual communication, multimedia language, computer science, video art and manga, video games, artificial intelligence, virtual reality and hybrid reality, and even cooking. His wide-ranging research as a humanist, sometimes obsessed with science fiction, robotics and cosmology, made him something of an outsider figure, especially in Italy. During the last decade of his life, he dedicated his interests and efforts towards the creation of a new multidisciplinary field of studies, which he called the Techno Middle Age, focusing on an alternative perception of historical and philological events. His basic idea was that historical data can be treated in the same way as quantum physics, that it can be subjected to a similar process to that of bubble chambers in physical research, revealing peculiarities and other phases of the data. Prior to his death, he was editing a third volume, The Sumerian Chronicles, on the subject of the remote past of population of, of historical and archaeological cultures and how they connect with future technological scenarios. In recent years, he also created the Age of Future Association and the Fashion Lab, which were dedicated to projects ranging from contemporary art to fashion, jewelry and cooking. In particular, he developed a visionary and original idea of food, seen from a, a, an historical, archaeological and philological point of view, that included space food, astronaut food, robotic food and 3D printers. Finally, he was the founder and president of the company Universe Time Labs. He was also the founder of robotic teams to support robotic humanoid entities, including the robot Blue Storm, which actively collaborate with the Age of Future group. The basic idea was that humanoid robots are similar to us and should be widely cared for and studied. He developed the idea of a robotic nursery where little humanoid robots are able to acclimatize and receive a high-level robotic education and then learn to socialize with humans. And their credo is collaboration and coexistence with the human race. The library comprises 7,879 books, including art monographs, books on photography, exhibition catalogues, essays on philosophy, history and philosophy of science, theatre and television history, Italian and foreign fiction, essays on magic, history of religions and art criticism, all reflecting its formidable intellect and multiple areas of expertise and interest in the fields of technological imaginary and thought in cinema, photography, audiovisual communications, multimedia languages, computer graphics and video art. 333 drawings and 120 artworks by Professor Pecchioli, including Alien Priest and Sumerian Steel, which were exhibited at the Sir Dennis Mount Foundation exhibition Techno Medioevo, Age of Future Reloaded, London Museum of Order St. John 2018, and Vision and Visionaries at the Festival of the Two Worlds in Spoleto. 500 black and white negatives, extensive paper archives on the above diverse subjects, and 3,000 DVDs and videotapes films, documentaries and TV recordings. 
their archives encompasses a quantity and variety of material that testifies to Professor Pecchioli's eclecticism. It is divided into macro areas relating to heterogeneous materials such as graphic works, drawings, pastels, work, works on paper, photography, theater, draft or subject for cinema and television and scripts, and paper documents, correspondence, notes, books, and cinema and DVDs. A chest of drawers contains many unpublished graphic works by Professor Pecchioli, which represent a little-known chapter of his life and artistic production. These rediscovered works, 323 in total, tell us his varied and artistic interest in research and experimentation from his earliest years. Some surprising notebooks, dating back to the 1970s, represent an attempt to invent a sort of new, ciphered, alternative language. All the pages are covered with letters, numbers and symbols. In other notebooks you can see his desire to use the album as a sort of artistic books, like a medieval codex. The bindings contain a story that develops through the pages of the volumes. The drawings use different techniques, from simple script to the use of tempera and acrylic to dry pastel. The themes of alternative worlds, parallel universes, are those that always struck Marcello Pecchioli's imagination. The photographic material is one of the most important sections of the archive. There are approximately 1,500 negatives and 70 photographic prints, dating from the 1980s to the 21st century, which include a fascinating variety of black and white contact sheets, Polaroids, slides and home movies. We can see in particular a strong interest in photo reportage and travel photography. There is also an album of images of altered reality, whereby dozens of black and white photographs of quite normal images of the city or country, developed by Professor Piccioli himself, have been touched up and distorted by him after printing using aniline acid and bright colors. As often happens in the case of eclectic, restless, hypercritical and visionary artists such as Marcello Piccioli, their works of art are often not exhibited in their homes all of his own works were kept in storage rooms in his home, intended only for external exhibitions. In addition to many books from his father's house in Perugia, these rooms contain many recent works by Marcello Pecchioli, including Alien Priest and the Sumerian Steel, which were exhibited in London at the Techno Medioevo, Age of Future Reloaded exhibition, at the Museum of the Order of St. John in 2018 in collaboration with the Sedanis Mount Foundation, which Professor Pecchioli both created and curated. He was also the president and the speaker at the conference The Language and the Concept of Time in Art and Science, which included speakers from the Department of Theoretical Physics at Imperial College and at the University of Cambridge. These events, again in collaboration with the Sedanis Mount Foundation, were followed by the Vision and Visionaries exhibition at the Guildhall Art Gallery in London in 2018, and at the Festival of the Two Worlds in Spoleto in 2019. His last completed collaboration with the Sedanis Mount Foundation was the Time and Eternal Life exhibition at Cromwell Place in London between October and December 2021. At the end of his life, in the latter part of 2020 and the beginning of 2021, he was again collaborating with the Sedanis Mount Foundation and with astrophysicists from Imperial College on an important collective on artificial intelligence.
the Sir Dennis Mao Foundation, which had the privilege of working with Professor Pecchioli over the past three years, very much hopes that his library and archive will be an important resource for scholars and artists of these disciplines and invites them to get in touch with us if they wish to consult any of the material.